What's up everyone, I am Chase here at Rocky Mountain Eight to VMC coming at you with our trail and single track tire buyer's guide. So if you're a rider that loves trail riding or technical off-road riding in general, today I want to show you some really good rear tire options that can make your experience even better. Now over the years, if you haven't noticed, there's been a lot of off-road riders, a lot of trail riders that have been switching over to a trials tire, and that's for good reason. A trials tire, you can see I've got one right here on my right. So these are designed to have a larger contact patch, a softer sidewall, so they're more flexible, and they use a softer, stickier rubber compound. So these things hook up absolutely awesome in your rocks, your roots, and your other slick surfaces. Now at Rocky Mountain, there's still a lot of us here that love to use a true trials tire when we do trail riding, but there's another reason we do that. Is we know that these tires don't tear up the trails nearly as much as a true knobby tire, and we want to keep our trails in as good a shape as possible because we always want to maintain our right to ride. So that's a key reason that we like to use a trials tire. Now with these also, another key benefit is that softer sidewall is going to help these tracks straighter. And what I mean by that is it's going to be a little bit more forgiving, so when you do hit those rocks and roots, it's not going to deflect as much. Now an interesting fact about trials tires is they actually hook up so well that they banned these from Enduro Cross years ago. They figured it was too much of an advantage, so they wanted all riders to go to a more traditional style knobby tire. Now with the trials tire, there are going to be a few trade-offs. Okay, If you're a more aggressive rider, you're probably going to notice that it's not going to grip or it's not going to corner and break as well. And also with that softer sidewall, they are going to be a little bit more prone to pinch flats. But that is where a hybrid tire comes in. So hybrid tires are fairly new, but they're becoming very, very popular. I've got one right here to my left. So the hybrid tire, what they do is they take some of the best characteristics of each, they marry the two together, and they give you the best of both worlds. So you're going to have a little bit more aggressive tread design, you're going to have a stiffer sidewall, but they're still going to use a softer, stickier rubber compound to maintain that grip that you are looking for. So today what I'm going to do is walk you through, talk about some of our best tire choices from a trials tire up to your more aggressive knobby hybrid style to help point you guys in the right direction. All right, so first up on the list is the D803 from Dunlop. Now we have several different trial tire options at Rocky Mountain, but this is one of our best selling and this is gonna be our go-to trials tire. One thing you do wanna keep in mind is it is not DOT approved. But with the Dunlop, you can see that contact patch, very large, they use the tread blocks are very close together and they use a very soft rubber compound along with a soft sidewall. So this tire hooks up extremely well and that softer sidewall really does a great job with not deflecting off of rocks and roots. Now interestingly, we actually measured the hardness of all the rubber compounds of all the tires that I'm gonna show you today. So I have my durometer here. So the Dunlop was just over 50, which is a very soft rubber compound. To give you something to compare that to, a traditional intermediate knobby tire is gonna be anywhere from 65 to 75 or even harder. So it's a very soft rubber compound. And one thing that you can't see on camera is when I grab these knobs, you can see they're flexible, but they're almost sticky. You can feel the stickiness on that rubber, which means these things hook up absolutely awesome. So if you're looking to try a true trials tire, you wanna know what's one of our best selling in our go-to, it's gonna be the D803 from Dunlop. So the second tire on our list is the MT43 from Pirelli. This is another trials tire, also very popular, one that we have also used plenty here at Rocky Mountain. Now if you're wondering, well why would I get the MT43 over the D803 from Dunlop? Well there's a couple key reasons. So the MT43 does use a harder rubber compound, so it's actually closer to 65 on the durometer. It's also gonna have a stiffer sidewall, so it's not gonna grip as good as a Dunlop, but it is gonna last longer for you. Another key feature here, this is gonna be a DOT approved tire. So if you're a dual sport rider and you want the benefits of a trials tire, but you need something that's gonna get you from trail to trail, well, the MT43 is gonna be the tire for you. So third up on the list is the Kenda Equilibrium. Now this is gonna be the first hybrid style tire in our lineup. Now when you look at it, you can see that center tread design looks very similar to a trials tire. And in fact, interestingly, even though this is a hybrid style tire, it actually had the softest rubber compound in of all the tires in our lineup at just under 50. But what I like that they've done is you can see on the center treads here, they have braking scoops to help with braking. And also the side lugs are much more aggressive. That's gonna give you better cornering performance. Now this is gonna be a DOT approved tire, but one thing you wanna keep in mind is on the sidewall here, you can see it says 4.5. Well, that's gonna be the measurement for the width of the tire. They use inches instead of metric on here, but that's gonna be similar to a 110 or a 120. So just keep that in mind. So with the Kenda Equilibrium, if you are looking for a really good hybrid tire that's gonna be about as close to a trials tire as you're gonna get, this would be my choice for you. 
So fourth up on the list, this is the R505 Cheater Tire from Shinko. Now Shinko is a very fast growing company, they come from Japan, and they started making tires back in 1998. Now the 505 Cheater in the short time that it's been out has actually become very, very popular. Now as you can see, big step in the other direction from the Kenda that we just saw, much more aggressive tread design here. So this is actually gonna land smack dab right in the middle of a true knobby tire and a trials tire, but they're still gonna use a very soft rubber compound. In fact, this came in right at 55 on the durometer. So very soft rubber compound, still gonna offer plenty of grip. One thing you do wanna keep in mind with the Shinko, it is not gonna be DOT approved, but one thing I love about these tires is really good price point. So if you're looking for a hybrid style tire, but one that's gonna have a more aggressive tread design but does well in a very large variety of conditions, well, the 505 Cheater would be my choice for you. So last up on the list, I have got a two for one special for you. I've got the Mountain Hybrid Gummy and the Extreme Hybrid Gummy coming from Motos. Now the gummy version of these tires is brand new. They do offer the exact same tire just with a harder durometer, but the gummy version is actually gonna be just over 60, so they've added to the grip of these tires and I am a big fan. Now if you look at these, you can tell right off the bat, very aggressive tread design, probably one of the more aggressive tread designs that you're gonna get with a hybrid style tire. And also what I like about these is they have a reinforced sidewall, which is gonna help you run lower PSI. Now if you're wondering what's the difference between the two, which is gonna be best suited for you, well, you've got the Mountain Hybrid Gummy, so this is gonna have the tread design that's a little bit closer together, so if you run more hard packed trails, you don't really ride in mud or sand very often, I would go with the Mountain Hybrid. But if you ride in more extreme conditions, so sand, mud, you know, those wetter conditions, then the Extreme Hybrid Gummy, then I would say that is gonna be the choice for you. Now the last feature I do wanna point out with both of these tires is they are going to be DOT approved. So if you are looking for a hybrid style tire, one with a more aggressive tread design, well, these two options from Motos are gonna be a rock solid choice. All right, so thanks for checking out our top tire picks for single track and trail riding. Hopefully, I have narrowed down your search. So head over to our website at RockyMountainATVMC.com to check these tires out, read reviews. If you have questions, comment below, or you can ask questions on the product page, and you will get answers from actual customers who have bought these tires. And don't forget, guys, make sure you subscribe, share this video with your other trail riding buddies, help them get hooked up, pun intended. I'm Chase here at Rocky Mountain, and we'll see you on the trails.